so let's just dive right in. The hype around GPT-5 has been, well, it's been absolutely insane. You couldn't go anywhere in the tech world without hearing about it, with some people claiming it's the beginning of a whole new era for AI. But what's the real story behind all the noise? Well, in this explainer, we're going to cut right through it and see what's actually going on under the hood. I mean, when GPT-5 was first being talked about, headlines like this were just everywhere. People were seriously talking as if artificial general intelligence, you know, AGI, that point where an AI can learn pretty much any task a human can, was finally here. The excitement was just off the charts. This was supposed to be it, the moment AI finally matched human reasoning and changed, well, everything. But then you look at what the experts themselves were seeing, and a totally different picture starts to form. A survey of over 700 AI researchers showed this huge gap between the public hype and reality. Get this, a staggering 60% of them called it overhyped. Another 38% saw it as just, you know, a small step out from GPT-4. And how many thought it was true AGI? A tiny 2%. So yeah, the experts were not buying it. Which brings us to the big question, right? If it's not AGI, and even the people who build this stuff are skeptical, then what's the fundamental problem? What's the wall that a model as huge as GPT-5 is still running into? To figure that out, we have to look a little deeper at how these systems actually think. Researchers have actually come up with a brilliant term for this limitation. They call it AKI, which stands for Artificial Kindergarten Intelligence. And no, that's not an insult. It's actually a really precise diagnosis of where AI is at right now. So let's break down what that actually means. Here's the key idea. An AKI system is kind of like a super, super talented kindergartner. It can memorize an insane amount of facts, it can follow specific instructions perfectly, and it can spot really complex patterns. But the moment you ask it to put all those different pieces together to build something new and coherent, it just gets stuck. It has all the parts, but it really struggles with the assembly. And this gets to the heart of the issue, what some researchers call the disassembly-reassembly gap. Think about it like this. Imagine a big, complex Lego castle. An AI at this AKI level is amazing at taking that castle apart, piece by piece. That's disassembly, it's easy for it. But asking it to build that same castle from the instructions, that's reassembly. And that's where it totally falls apart. It just can't see how all the individual bricks are supposed to connect to create the final thing. So let's look at a real world example of this in action because this isn't just a theory. We can actually see this AKI limitation pop up with a really simple but incredibly powerful test. It's called the bridge query. Now at first glance, this just looks like a normal trivia question, right? But it's actually a fantastic little stress test from multi-step reasoning. See, to get the right answer, an AI can't just look up one fact. It has to find several different facts and then connect them together in a very specific logical chain. And this is exactly where things break down. The AI is great at the disassembly part. Step one, it finds out Vivaldi composed the upper Skander Bank. Perfect. Step two, it finds Vivaldi was born in Venice. Awesome. Step three, it finds a list of famous bridges in Venice, like the Rialto Bridge. But that final step, putting it all together, the synthesis, that's the weak link. The AI often just fails to connect that chain. It loses the context of the original question, and it shows you that critical failure in reassembly. Okay, so if just making these models bigger and bigger isn't going to work, what's the solution? Well, this is where things get really, really exciting. Researchers are developing brand new ways to build these things, and one of the most promising is a framework they're calling Logic Augmented Generation, or LAG for short. How do we get the AI to actually build the LEGO castle instead of just taking it apart? How do we fix this fundamental gap between knowing a bunch of facts and actually being able to reason with them? The philosophy behind LAG is actually incredibly smart and elegant. It splits the process of reasoning from the process of generating language. So instead of trying to do both at the same time, which is where current models trip up, LAG forces the AI to create a logical plan first. Only then does it translate that solution into words we can understand. It literally makes the AI think before it speaks. And here's basically how it works. First, the system looks at a question and figures out if it's easy or hard. Then, for the hard ones, it actually builds a logical map, figuring out how each piece of the puzzle depends on the others. It's only then that it solves the logic puzzles one step at a time. The final step is just translating that successful plan into a clear answer. This whole structured approach keeps that reasoning chain from breaking. And this focus on building smarter systems, rather than just bigger ones, 
it points to a much larger shift in how we're thinking about the future of AI. It completely challenges that classic sci-fi idea of a single, all-knowing super brain. You know, we often picture the future of AI as this one single, massive, all-powerful intelligence, right? A single super brain that knows everything and does everything. But the limitations we're seeing with AIK suggest that this monolithic approach just doesn't work for complex reasoning. Instead, the future is starting to look a lot more like a coordinated team of specialists. This is an idea called multi-agent systems. We have different smaller AIs that all collaborate, with each one bringing its own focused expertise to the table to solve a problem together. And on this team, you've got these key roles. There's a router AI that's basically the project manager. It assigns tasks to the right expert for the job. Then you've got the specialist AIs. Each one is laser focused on just one skill like research or data analysis. And the secret sauce is that they all have a shared memory, a central knowledge hub, so the whole team stays on the same page. It's just a much more efficient and powerful way to build intelligence. So let's tie this all together. What are the big takeaways here? One, today's AI is at that artificial kindergarten intelligence level. It's great at individual tasks, but pretty bad at putting them all together. Two, the old way of just making models bigger has kind of hit a wall. We need smarter architecture now. Three, new solutions like lag are fixing the reasoning problem by forcing the AI to plan before it speaks. And four, the future isn't one giant AI brain. It's a coordinated team of specialist AIs working in concert. And this all brings us to the final and probably the most important idea. It's pretty clear that AI is going to be a massively transformative force. So the real question we have to start asking ourselves isn't if it will change things, but how we choose to guide that change. By moving from just brute force scale to more intelligent design, we're not just building better tech, we're actually making more conscious choices.